Today, we're going to be talking about... If you're interested in Bitcoin, you probably heard the word blockchain being tossed around once or twice. In the simplest terms, the blockchain is just a record of all the transactions made with Bitcoin. People that maintain this record and help validate all the transactions are called miners. You can imagine the blockchain like a stack of blocks. Each block has a reference to the previous block, going all the way back to the first block called the Genesis block. That being said, if someone were to change something in one of the blocks, then the chain would break, therefore giving it its property of being immutable. So what is a block? Well, a block is a chunk of transactions. If you haven't seen my video on Bitcoin transactions, you can click on that video here. But how do we know what transactions go into block and which ones? That's where miners come in. Miners are the people verifying your transactions. These people are spread out all over the world maintaining the same database or ledger of all the Bitcoin transactions, making Bitcoin decentralized. The decentralized nature of the blockchain and the immutability is what keeps the system secure and trustless. Unlike a centralized system, like a bank, there is no single point of failure. If you wanted to support the network, you could keep your own copy of this ledger. And doing so is what we call running a full node. But more on that later. When a transaction is made with Bitcoin, it gets sent to a pile of pending transactions. Miners choose from that pile of transactions and solve the puzzle associated with those transactions and try to validate them. Once that is solved, their block of transactions gets appended to the end of the blockchain. For solving a block, the system rewards these miners with some type of reward. That reward is what we call Bitcoin. And this is how new coins are made. Each transaction also has fees attached to it and the miners mm -hmm. get this too. But one point to keep in mind, the amount of Bitcoin rewarded per block solved gets cut in half every four years, starting in 2009 for 50 Bitcoins for solving a block. Now a block would give somewhere around 12.5. Around 2140 is when all the Bitcoins will be minted and the total amount of Bitcoins at that point would be 21 million. I wanted to keep this episode short, but in the next episode, I'd like to dive a little deeper into the structure of the blocks and what they look like. See you guys in the next episode. Take care.